I'm Dr. Jamie Siegel with Concierge Mobile Animal Hospital and this is our veterinary learning series. Today we're going to talk about dental extractions. So this little one under here is Mim. She's under a lot of monitoring equipment and heat for now so you can't really see her um, but we're going to be focusing on her teeth. These teeth have been pre-cleaned, uh, which is really important when we're doing extractions. You can see a little bit of blood here just from the cleaning, just as you would for um, a human dental cleaning. She has very loose incisor teeth. So dental extractions can vary tremendously between animals and specific teeth. For example, a little tiny loose mole, um, sorry, incisor like this can take 30 seconds to pull out. Whereas if we go into the back, these bigger molars, depending on their level of dental disease and periodontal disease at the root, can take anywhere between 20 and 30 minutes to pull and stitch up. Um, for the sake of today, and just kind of giving you a very general overview, we're going to do this quick little incisor. And luckily, Mim doesn't need any big extractions today. So the first thing that, again, you're going to do is make sure the teeth are cleaned. After that, we use special instruments to loosen the area of the gum and the tooth. We do this very gently. If you're a little squeamish, just know that there's gonna be some blood. We go all the way around the tooth, 360 degrees, all directions, and you just go very loosely. You can see a lot of mobility here in Mim's tooth already, as her tooth was pretty loose to start with. All the way around, sorry sweetie, and lots of blood. So we just clean it off as we go. This is normal amount of blood, as bad as it looks. I know we hate to see blood, but the truth be told is that the gums do bleed a significant amount. And we don't worry about it. We're gonna stop the bleeding after this extraction. So once we get the gum tissue, very, we'll just keep that gauze there. Once we get the gum tissue nice and loose from the tooth, Again, we go all the way around, just make sure everything's nice and loose. Then we're gonna take another instrument. We'll see if it's ready. It's a nice, it takes a lot of patience to do these. And we just very gently pull it out. You can see when we pull out the tooth, it wasn't really attached to very much to begin with. So, there's Mim's little tooth. It's very cute, we'll save it for her mom. Um, the next step, which we won't show you for the sake of time in the video, is that we will stitch the area where the tooth was closed. She's actually gonna lose a couple more teeth, so I'm gonna go ahead and extract across the row. Again, all clean, so we're not putting any infection up into the gums. And then after that, I'm gonna stitch across her gums. So she's gonna heal up in just a few days, and she's gonna feel so much better once these loose, icky teeth are out. Thanks for visiting.